Hello and welcome, I'm Jay the Fanboy and you are watching Who Reviews. In this episode, the Doctor goes to the future during the time of the Great Dalek Invasion of Earth. The Doctor and friends have beaten the Daleks before and will do so again. But this episode also has me wondering, what are the Doctor's rules for time travel? They can't change history, but they can influence events indirectly. That's the rules for the past, but what are the rules for the future? And what are the rules for alien species such as the Daleks? The Doctor doesn't seem to have any troubles meddling around in the future or with aliens. Are there even rules for that? Or is this just a rule for Earth past? Well, other than having me question the logistics of the show, this episode is actually really good. They meet the Rebels, who tell of the Daleks' successful invasion of Earth, but how they are still around to fight. They also tell of how few Daleks there actually are on Earth, and how, if not for Dalek control of human minds, they will be easily overpowered. So the Doctor and friends help the Rebels strike back. I am the father. I said, the Rebels strike back. That's better. One rebel builds a special bomb to take out the Daleks. Another group of rebels hit the Dalek base and deliver the payload. You would think with the doctor's help, this victory would be easy. You'd be wrong. In a stunning surprise, the rebels lose. Most of them die. Some of them are turned into Dalek mind slaves. Others are sent to the mines to do some digging. The doctor is captured and nearly turned into a mind slave himself. Luckily, he's got some good friends and allies who help him escape and tear the base apart at the last minute. But escape does not mean victory for the Doctor. They still have a long way to go before that. Meanwhile, in the mines, Ian is trying to figure out what the Daleks are digging for and how to escape. Through some investigation, he discovers something really, truly amazing. The Daleks are digging to the Earth's core to replace it with a hyperdrive and turn the Earth into a super weapon. Does this sound familiar to you? Well, it should, because that's exactly what the First Order did with Starkiller Base in Episode 7. The Daleks were on the verge of creating Starkiller Base 50 years before Star Wars. Not only that, but they were creating super weapons 10 years before Star Wars even existed. This show just proved to me how amazing it really is. Now I know why fans love this show so much. Its brilliant writing is way ahead of its time. And this isn't the first time the writers have done something like this either. They've done that a lot, actually. I'm pretty sure they invented the Scooby-Doo hallway scene before Scooby-Doo. If you can do something before the movie or show that is famous for doing it does it, you earn my respect and my applause. And now, back to the show. The Doctor and friends get a second chance at attack. This time their strategy is to use the Dalek strategy against them. They impersonate some Daleks. Then they tell the Dalek mind slaves to rebel against the Daleks. The plan works, and the Daleks are defeated. With the Daleks defeated, it's time for the Doctor to move on. This time, with one less passenger. During the fighting, the Doctor's granddaughter fell in love with one of the rebels and decided to stay with him. She stays behind to help rebuild Earth, and I say, Good riddance to her. I didn't like her that much anyway. I'm pretty sure her replacement is going to be just a little bit better. And that's the Dalek Invasion of Earth. Brilliant writing and got rid of some dead weight. One of the best episodes I have seen so far. Till next time, I'm Jay the Fanboy. Laters.